Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Formula One driver Valtteri Bottas is settling in at Alfa Romeo. He is now in his second season with the outfit and will be driving more than just the team's race car. Bottas has taken delivery of his own Alfa Romeo Giulia GTAM at the Stellantis U showroom in Turin, Italy. Alfa Romeo CEO Jean-Philippe Imparato and F1 manager Cristiano Fiorio were on hand for the occasion. Alfa Romeo launched the Giulia GTA and Hotter GTAM over two years ago to celebrate the history of the 1965 Giulia GTA, which inspired more than the new car's name. The Italian automaker stripped 221 pounds out of the Giulia GTA compared to the Quadrifoglio variant, helping to improve its performance and handling. The company even uses Lexan windows for the side and rear glass in the GTAM. Powering the sedan is Alpha's 2, 9-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine. The engine debuted producing 533 horsepower, with Alpha altering the exhaust note with an Acropovic titanium setup. The company claimed the car could reach 62 miles per hour in 3. Six seconds, with Alpha engineers using its relationship with Sauber Engineering to integrate an active front splitter into the vehicle. The differences between the GTA and GTAM are small but significant. Bottas is the new owner of a GTAM, which is the hotter variant. The GTAM has just two seats, a roll bar, and six point harnesses. It's street legal, too. Alpha also differentiated the trim styling, giving the GTAM a larger front spiller and a carbon fiber rear wing. The car comes with a host of racing gear Bottas has no use for. Alpha gives GTA and GTAM owners a helmet finished in a GTA livery and a full racing suit, including gloves and shoes. We're sure Bottas has his own set. Alpha planned to produce just 500 examples of the GTA and GTAM combined. The Finnish driver is set to race this weekend in the second campaign of the season in Saudi Arabia. Bottas finished 8th in F1's season opener in Bahrain late last month. He ended the 2022 season in 10th place, far behind 9th place Fernando Alonso, who is now racing for Aston Martin. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.